Now to begin this Qigong exercise, you want to stand in a relaxed position with your feet about shoulder width and knees slightly bent. The hands start at waist level with the palms facing outward. Slowly raise them to shoulder height, turn them over, and come back down. Repeat this over and over. If it helps, you can think of this as forming the shape of the letter I. The next one starts the same way, but when you reach the shoulders, you bring them out in a horizontal fashion, then turn the palms up, come back in to the center of your chest, and down to the beginning or starting position. This one kind of forms the letter T. From here, one hand is above the head, the other hand is at waist level. The arms are at 90 degrees to each other. Notice how the feet move on this one. You pick up the toes, you're pivoting on the heel. You want to try to think of this as having something spanning both palms from hand to hand. Hence the name holding the rainbow. Here you want to scoop lift and as you reach above your head the hands slowly separate making a circular movement on either side coming back to the beginning position. You can think of this as putting something up on a shelf, uh, shooting a basketball, anything uh, like that that will help you to remember this movement. Now as you finish, you place both hands over the Dantian area, which is three inches below the navel. This is said to be where your chi resides. And you'll just slowly breathe for a minute or so while ending your meditation. Here I'm just showing the same movements from the side view. It should be done very slowly. I'm actually doing them a little faster uh, just because I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, as far as the video goes. It get a little bit boring to watch. Really you want to try to do these as slowly as you can. Also if you noticed the first part I only did them three times each. Again, that's not how you want to do it either. You're going to do these moves, each move, like the beginning move, 10, 20, 30 times before you move on to the next move of opening the chest. Then you'll do that move 10, 20, 30 times. Now I'm not saying that I want you to count them because then you won't be concentrating on the breathing and on the movements and relaxing your body. But that's the amount of time that you'll end up spending. So each move you may spend three, four, five minutes just doing each one before moving on to the next one. Just kind of use your own judgment on when it feels like it's time to go on to the next move. I think you'll find that it puts you into a very relaxed state. You also may feel a little bit of a tingling in your hands, but this is normal. This is said to be the chi moving throughout your body. Now as far as the breathing goes, I would just breathe normally. You can either breathe through the nose or in through the nose and out through the mouth. If you want to try to coordinate it with the movements, you're going to exhale right here. And 
then inhale and exhale. Basically, you want to inhale on the first half of the movement and exhale on the second half. But like I said, in the beginning, don't worry about this. Just breathe normally. Now there are actually eight movements to this particular type of Qigong. These are just the first four. I'll show the other four later on.